Welcome to Insanely Positive. Your oasis of joy when the world seems gray and full of grumpy faces. I'm Suzanne Freiherz. Thank you for joining me. I'll feed you buckets of joy to bring out your best self so you can live your best life. Hello, everyone. This is the last episode with strategies on how to boost your energy. And today, it's all about choosing the right workout in a phase of your life where you are overworked and you can feel yourself burning out. And when you feel burned out, you will feel low in energy and you will be pretty tired pretty much all the time. And that's why maybe you tell yourself, oh, I have to go and do some active stuff, something like power yoga, or I have to go to a HIIT training to wake up and get more energy or some other kind of fitness or sports. And as I said a couple of episodes ago, we have to understand what is going on in our system, in our body and in our mind when we feel burned out. We literally are overheating our system. Any kind of stress produces heat in our system and so does being competitive surround ourselves with noise all the time, having the TV or Netflix on all the time. Um, drinking alcohol adds to the heat. And when we overheat, we exhaust our system. And when we think logically, when something overheats, it needs a cool down, yes? And when your phone overheats, you put it in the shade. When your tea is too hot to drink, you give it time to cool down. So as you can see, the cool down doesn't need much of an effort. It actually just needs a little time and space. When someone is angry, we literally say, you need to cool off. So, we already know what we have to do. We are telling ourselves we need to cool off. But we continue adding heat in our free time and we think we have to accomplish something and prove something in our free time as well. Because we're so used to thinking that competing and comparing is what life and success is all about. However, during an intense working phase, Instead of doing heaty trainings, do something that helps your system to cool down. This is where you will find fresh energy very fast. So what, what can you do? What is a cool down, a real true cool down? You can go for a walk in nature or you can do gentle stretches. If you go for a walk or you do some stretching, please make sure that you don't recreate what drains your energy in your job and your daily life. That means remind yourself that this is your free time. This is your me time. This is your recovery time and not a competition. So what exactly do I mean when I say that? It's very easy to create a real cool down. When you go for a walk, for example, don't count your steps. <laughs> don't try to make lots of kilometers. Don't create a competition. Don't try to prove something. Walk slowly. You can sit under a tree for a couple of minutes. You just keep walking without having any kind of goal. You don't time yourself. You don't count your steps. Because this is all about quality and not quantity. Take time to stop and watch a bird on a twig. 
free yourself from everything that causes you stress. Enjoy each step, feel the ground, hear all the sounds around you, smell the air, be thankful that you have a body that has this amazing ability to recover and to heal itself. And just be thankful and happy that you allow yourself to cool down and to create balance in your life. So this is the quality that we want to create when we do something to cool down. And just remember that we humans are very, we are really amazing beings. It's incredible how much we can endure and how many years we can ignore our body's signs and warnings, begging us to treat it better and to stop exploiting it. And we can endure so much pressure and so much stress. And it's truly astonishing how we can recover from almost anything. But in order to recover and to repair and to heal and to renew, we need to create a space where it all can happen. That's not about making a huge effort and breaking a sweat. It's just about creating this space and taking a little time. Everything in life is about balance. When we ask a lot of ourselves and we push ourselves in our job, we need to take extra care of ourselves. So to balance out all the heat, and with heat I mean stress and pressure and being in a hurry all the time and being competitive all the time, we need a workout, a training that cools down the whole system. So I love to take long walks in the forest and I take as much time as I want to. And when Tom and I do a hike and the description of this hike says it will take two hours, we already know we will, we will need more time. <laughs> maybe three hours, maybe longer. Who knows? Who knows? It doesn't matter. So why, why will we take longer than the description says? Because we don't rush. Because we allow ourselves to stop if we feel like it. And we take time to walk slowly, that we have time to look around. There are maybe flowers or mushrooms or giant ferns that we could see when we look left and right and up. Or maybe one of the trees has a very special atmosphere and we just want to stand there and just enjoy the presence. And another thing that helps me balance is to balance out the stressful phases in my life is stretching. Let me explain what I mean, because like it is with going for a walk, you could do this in a very stressful way. You can run through the forest without looking left and right. <laughs> and also when you do a stretching session, it can be done in an aggressive and competitive way as well. And this will not cool down your system. So it's always about the quality. So when I do a stretching session, I always do what we call Una Earth. Una Earth consists of long, very gentle stretches. And the aim is to reawaken a natural range of motion in the body. So it's all about counteracting typical patterns that we all have, like a hunched back or bent hips from sitting all day and mobilizing the shoulders and freeing the neck from tension. So basically it works the whole body, but without working hard, but just through giving it time and space. And it's all about creating a lasting release of deep tissues and joints and letting it all happen effortlessly. So we need to take care of our system. We're more than muscles. <laughs> we also have other sorts of tissues and joints and whatever. So we need a training that takes care of 
these aspects of ourselves and of our bodies. So it's about a gentle stretch and staying there for a couple of minutes. And I can't stress enough, it's a gentle stretch. That means we don't go to the maximum of the stretch, but we just move into this pose, whatever it is, and then just stay wherever we find a gentle stretch, something that we can enjoy. Not going to the limit is a vital part of cooling down. We are pushing to the limit in our daily life. So we need to create something that counteracts this tendency. And I think it's a very interesting concept and it's a complete opposite of what we usually do. Instead of pushing ourselves to the limit, we leave some space to breathe and to relax. And instead of pulling ourselves deeper into the stretch because we want to reach the feet or go somewhere else, (laughs) we just melt into the stretch and we let gravity and the breath do the work. And it's just this space where we don't force anything, but we relax into everything that is here now And we allow the body to release at its own pace. And when you work with yourself without being hard on yourself, without trying to get to a goal, to accomplish something, what happens is that you learn to appreciate yourself even when you're taking a break, even when you are relaxing. When your system needs a cool down, you need to give it space and time. And you will feel that you will benefit from the first walk you, you'll do or the first stretch. And you can feel how your mind relaxes with your body. And when you cool down your system, you'll benefit from a clear and organized mind And you will enjoy this new sense of lightness in your body. So when you are overworked, you need to allow your system to regenerate. And there is no better way of leaving it be. Remember that you're valuable no matter if you're hustling or doing nothing. So I know from experience that after a Uni Earth session, I always feel like a brand new person. And I think this Uni Earth practice is a wonderful reminder that we we can allow ourselves to rest. And we can allow ourselves these spaces where we don't make an effort and understand that the world doesn't stop turning just because we're relaxing. (laughs) It's good to know. (laughs) I invite you all to accept the challenge to do a practice that will help you cool down your system, a walk, a gentle stretch, Uni Earth style. And you will benefit not only, only from this immense energy boost, a clear mind, an inner calm, but also you will train your mind to follow through with what you started. Because it can be challenging to do this, to slow down. To stay in a gentle stretch for minutes and minutes is a challenge because we are tempted to get out of the stretch because what usually or very often happens is that we get bored with ourselves. We get bored because we're not being entertained and we're so used to being entertained all the time. And I always feel that it helps to have a little humor (laughs) when we find ourselves being bored with ourselves. So if you ever feel that way, don't avoid the challenge by grabbing your phone or switching on a Netflix show. Instead, 
stay in the stretch. Remind yourself that you are a very fascinating person. You are a fascinating life form. And practice to face yourself with curiosity and begin to listen to the quiet aspects of life. The feedback in your body. Feel how a gentle stretch fluctuates with every breath. There is so much going on. Because sometimes, depending on the posture you're in, when you inhale, it deepens the stretch. Sometimes an exhale creates a stronger sensation of the stretch. So there is so much to explore. It's a fantastic challenge to get used to being quiet, to letting things unfold by themselves, and to understand that doing nothing has immense power. We are so used to making an effort and being active, and we think that nothing comes from nothing. And it is a challenge to understand that a lot comes from nothing. <laughs> Making an effort makes sense in certain areas of our lives, while in other aspects, it makes more sense to let go and relax. We all know when we want to fall asleep and we try to make a a big effort and we want to make this happen and we want to fall asleep. The more we make an effort, the less the chances we will fall asleep. So you see, there are aspects in our lives where things run smoothly when we don't do anything, when we don't make an effort, when we just relax. And we all know that when we don't do anything, and I think we can all agree when we're fast asleep, we don't do anything. <laughs> this is where the most important processes are taking place. This is where the body regenerates. And we all know we can't survive without sufficient sleep. So doing nothing is vital. And when we do nothing, a lot is going on and a lot is happening. And I think a quiet practice, just going for a slow walk, doing a gentle stretch, just helps us to understand that we need this in our lives in order to create balance. And in a quiet practice, you will have space to listen to yourself and to come home to what you truly need to be. So I invite you to create an oasis of calm in your life. Remember, when you go for a walk, walk slowly. Take your time. Stop if you want to enjoy a beautiful view. Don't time yourself. Don't count your steps. Free yourself from everything that makes you feel burned out. When you do stretches, do it Una Earth style. It's all about a gentle stretch. Free from competition. Free from the pressure to be anything else that you already are. And you'll be amazed at the nurturing effect. When you do a stretch, allow yourself to just melt into the floor. Let gravity do the work. And you can, you can feel and watch your own system just enter this amazing state of a very deep stillness. And you can smile when you see your mind leaning back and enjoying this much needed rest. So 
go for a walk slowly or do these stretches. Neither of them is a sweaty workout. But really, there is nothing impressive about it. <laughs> no impressive postures. Nothing to brag about. <laughs> and it's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we need to cool down. It's a complete contrast to our daily rat race. And that is why it's so beneficial. Also, one little thing, make sure to switch off your phone when you take a walk or you, when you do your stretches. Give yourself the space to cool down. Leave your seat. Remember when your phone overheats, it switches off. When you put it in the shade and you leave it be, it switches on again and it's as good as new. Do this for yourself. Put yourself in the shade, let your head cool off, let your body recover and you'll be as good as new. Don't underestimate the power of this. A few minutes in a forest, a slow walk along the shore of a river, a few stretches, Una Earth style, and your body and your mind will be so refreshed. And these are perfect tools to balance out this energy draining hustle of everyday life. And it's so wonderful to do something that has this calm quality. Because we all live in a society that overvalues achievements and competition and tends to ignore the importance of true health and well-being. So try this and you'll boost your energy and you will clear your mind literally without breaking a sweat. I hope that this and all the other strategies that I suggested in the previous episodes are helpful. If you haven't heard the other episodes about how to boost your energy, make sure to listen in. Let me know what you think about it. I hope that you always know, no matter what you're doing, that you are more than the things you do, that you are more than your accomplishments, that you are more than your job, your tasks. You're more than even your thoughts and emotions. Always remember that you are valuable as you are even when you don't do anything, even when you walk slowly, even when you melt into a stretch. You're an amazing life form with a body that can heal itself and a mind that can dream of things that don't exist yet and a heart that is kind and big and beautiful. So if you need a cool down, I'd be honored to be by your side and guide you through a couple of gentle stretches in a Yuna Earth class. Um, check out my website, yuna.com, Y-U-N-A.com. And if you want, we can start right away in the comfort of your home. I can't wait to get in touch with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. You can also find me on Instagram, at Suzanne Freiherz. And I can't wait to hear from you, to connect with you. And for today, allow me to thank you for listening, for letting me be part of your life. Now take a breath. Let positivity spread on your face, into your whole body, into your mind, into your heart. And like a wave, let it flow into everything you do and say and make sure to leave every place a little brighter than you found it. Create joy and bliss, shed the negative. The new normal is insanely positive.